Hey everybody, Preacher Knives here, favorite knife tuber. Episode number 113. And what you're looking at right there is a case trapper. Now, a few things before we get started looking at this knife is my hands. Don't be judgy. Make judge pants because knife people do knife things and I've done stuff that uh, I needed this for. So let's not talk about it. Let's just look right at this, not at this. Okay. All that being said, you're looking at a case single blade trapper micarta brass liners single blade brass pins nickel silver bolsters with a satin finish. Mm-hmm. And a Warncliffe blade with carbon steel. And the teeners. See? Tank stamp says KSXX. Has four little dots right there. And the other side says USA 10154W. W standing for Warncliffe, of course. So, let's take a look around it. You may notice that this knife has been used a little bit. That's because I put it on through the paces. There's a couple of things I want to point out. Number one, this thing is pretty flippin' sweet. I held off buying one of these for a long time. Okay? I did. I don't know why. And then all of a sudden, I got this hanker, and I'm like, man, I keep looking at, you know, old Georgia over there, Randy with Georgia Adventures. And uh, his looked pretty sweet. And I, I was like, man, I ought to buy one of them. And then I got to thinking, I better do it now before they run out. And then I'm jonesing for it and can't do nothing about it. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. This was like 65, 69 something dollars at DLT trading. This is a DLT exclusive, I believe. Uh, they have a green micarta as well as a clip point. You could get it in pretty much any variation you want in those two handle types of blades. However, I believe they're sold out of a few of them and I don't know which ones, I can't remember. But I think I might have got the last one of these. Can't, uh, I couldn't tell you 100%. You just have to go there and check it out. DLTTrading.com But what a price for a single blade with carbon steel. Would you listen to that snap? Son. So, a couple of things that I first noticed when I opened the box and I looked at this thing was... Wow, what a fit and finish. Because normally, hold on, I'm parched. I gotta get a drink of the Lord's drink. Normally, you get a case, kind of rolling the dice a little bit. And I was ordering it online, so I was kind of scared. But when I got this one, I wanna show you something. Let's just look at the action and the walk and talk. Snap smooth and that right there watch this fellas watch this snap walk and talk just probably couldn't get too much better than that no half stop that's cam team also has some micarta let's take a look at it that's a natural micarta and it has already picked up some oils from my hands and uh darkened up quite a bit actually um fit and finish wise transitions from bolsters to light to uh covers is spot on perfect you you couldn't tell if you was blind that there was a uh, bolster there the shield is fit in very well. No gaps at all. 
pretty much perfect. Kind of wish it was pinned, but, you know, uh, these pins are flush, really flush. The blade has a tip. Can you see it? It's not rounded off. Usually you get a, a case, you get a rounded tip. This is not rounded. The blade is not perfectly straight, but that's not bad. I did put a 600 grit edge on it. And it's sharp. And it took a edge very well and pretty quick. And it's held it pretty well too because I haven't sharpened it since I used it. It's pretty daggone sharp. I'll show you, but I'm running out of arm hairs over here. You know, I don't want to be bald armed. Um, the nail nick. Pretty nice. Got stuff in it. Clean. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that it has the uh, stamping right here on the kick instead of that crazy itchy stuff that they're starting to do now. I like this. And it's clean. You can actually read it. See? That's really good. Bolsters are satin finished. Looks like hand rubbed satin finish on there. It's got a few scratches. Not much. I carried this for about four days, I believe. And, uh... Let's look at the back spring. This is the only flaw I pretty much found is it's got um, <clears throat> gaps in the liner on this side. Right there. It's very minimal. As a matter of fact, if you just glanced at it, you probably wouldn't see it. But I really can't even catch my nail there. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. It's not bad, though. At all. Centering. Strike right down the middle. Would you looky there? Put your peepers right there. You see that? Mm-hmm. Goodness gracious. Thin. It's pretty thin. So, surprisingly, I like this way more than I thought I was going to. I thought it would be too thin. Uh, it's not. This thing is a utility cutter's delight. Legit. So, um, you can use this thing like crazy. And, uh, pardon my daughter coming in the room. Come on in. And, uh, just utility cutting all day long. You got that long blade. It's thin behind the edge, super thin, super slicey. Also, uh, you can barely even feel it in your pocket. Mostly, a lot of folks like to put trappers on their belt. This one, you just slide it right on down in the pocket, barely notice it, it's super light. I don't have one of those thingy things that measures the weight like all the mother fancy knife tubers do, but... It's light. Just trust me. And that micarta, man. I just freaking like it. It just looks good. This looks like a work knife. This looks like something you carry and have so much character. It's ridiculous. It already, look, I only carried it maybe four days. And it's got so much character already. The brass is already starting to tean her up. The micarta's already starting to teen her up, see? Got a few scratches on the bolsters. And the blade. Just take a look. Something in there. I gotta get out of there. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. Man. Would you take a look at that? We've gone on for 10 minutes about this crazy thing. But just want to show it to you. Really like it. 
you better head on over there and snag you one of these or you're going to be in a tight spot. You ain't going to be able to get one. And I promise you, the secondary market ain't going to be too easy on you either because uh, just like me, I guarantee you ain't nobody going to want to get rid of theirs. I really like this. This is my jam. Um, it's just got so much character. Any knife that gets a lot of character and is slicey and snappy and just, you know, so usable, light in your pocket. Um, hey, that's what I'm all about right there. Centered. Case done it on up. Give it to you, Case. There you go. So, this is about a 9.5 on the Richter scale. I dig it. So, hey, you got one yet? You going to snag one? Let me know. Shoot it down on in the comments right there. And also, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. I don't know why you wouldn't be. And then, um, don't forget to tell your mama and them and uh, your barber, your crush, your family, your friends your neighbors about Richter Knives. Uh, this is Richter, out.